Hi, this is Lida with teachmomhow.com and leave it all in the home.blogspot.com. Today I'm going to teach mom how to be an allergy mom uh, at Halloween. I have a daughter with severe food allergies. She's six years old. And Halloween is always a scary time for allergies, um, not because of the ghosts and the goblins and the witches but because of the food and the candy and the treats that are all around at uh, school parties and trick-or-treating. So we're going to talk about something that has helped us out uh, for Halloween. Uh, the Till Pumpkin Project is what I'm talking about today. I don't know if any of you have heard of the Till Pumpkin Project. A lot of people have heard of it now, even if you're not in the allergy world. So what is the Till Pumpkin Project? Well, Teal is the color of food allergy awareness. It's the color for food allergies. So they have started a campaign where you paint a teal pumpkin and you put it out on your porch for Halloween. Um, so if you, if you drive around your neighborhood and you see houses with teal pumpkins, what it means is that they are a place that if you go on Halloween, if you go trick or treat on Halloween, they will be allergy aware. Uh, so if you want to be a teal pumpkin house and be allergy aware, what are you supposed to do? Well, that's what I'm going to teach you. So what I've done for the teal pumpkin project is I put a teal pumpkin out on our porch. My daughter and I, we paint it and it's always a fun little activity that we do together and we put it out on the porch. And it tells people that if you have allergies and you come here, you will find a treat that you can have. So what I do is I have three bowls at my house. I have one bowl that has chocolate, uh, Hershey candy bars, M&M's, um, those kind of things. I don't do peanuts just because we get nervous about peanuts with my daughter because uh, she's super, super severe. She's also severely allergic to milk, which chocolate has, um, and nuts and eggs. Then I have another bowl that has Dum Dums, Starburst, Skittles, um, things like that, Swedish Fish, Sour Patch Kids. Those candies are free of the top eight allergens. When I say the top eight allergens, those are the eight most common allergies that people have, which are wheat, milk, eggs, peanuts, tree nuts, shellfish, fish, and soy. Then I also have an, a third bowl, which has toys, just little dollar store toys, um, little erasers, little stickers, little uh, parachute guys, little whatever I can find at the Target dollar section or at the dollar store, uh, little bracelets, little hair clips, anything like that that's cheap and easy to put in a bowl, that's in my third bowl. So when kids come to my house, they can choose out of three bowls and they can take something that works for them. So what does this mean for you as an allergy mom? If you're taking your daughter or son trick-or-treating and they have severe allergies, not every house is going to have a teal pumpkin. We would love that, that's part of why we do this campaign. But if they don't have a teal pumpkin, this is what we do. We go to the houses in our neighborhood and we let my daughter go up to the door and if they don't have anything that she can have, she um, either will just not take it, she'll just say thank you, I I'm allergic, I can't have that, or sometimes she may take it and put it in a separate bag from her bag. And when we get home, we'll take all the candy that she couldn't have and trade and trade her with candy she can have. So we'll keep we'll keep um, candy that she can have at our house and she'll give us the candy she can't have and we give her the candy she can have. And then she feels like she has still been a part of Halloween. Um, one thing that has been great about our neighborhood is just as I have talked to people and I let people know that my daughter has this allergen, people have been very considerate and they will call me or text me before Halloween and ask me, can Sailor have this treat? Can she have that treat? And I found that actually on Halloween, when we go to people's houses and they have a treat she can have, they will give her handfuls because they think, oh, she's not gonna get any treats and they, they make sure to give her plenty of candy and we found that actually by the end of the night, she usually has more candy than the rest of the kids and we don't ever trade her out and give her more candy because she has plenty. So one thing I found with food allergies is just talk about it, inform people, let them know um, the severity of your child and their needs. And that's one thing that we found as we've trick or treated that, that our neighborhood and friends have been very aware of, of my daughter. So to this Halloween, don't, don't be scared of Halloween. Um, 
this allergy world is hard and it's a hard thing to navigate, but we can do it. And one thing, one way that we can do that is by spreading the word about the Teal Pumpkin Project and trying to let people know what that is and how they can make their house an allergy safe house. So please like and share and subscribe to this video to let people know more about the Teal Pumpkin Project. And also if you need to know more uh, allergy tips, click on the videos on the screen or, uh, or the links in the subscription and watch some more videos about different allergy tips. Uh, good luck and have a fun, safe Halloween. Whoa!